Thomas, our senior justice correspondent tonight, and we'll take you right through each of the points here. But first of all, Pierre, for those watching and just tuning in, what do we know tonight about the suspect? Again, uh, law enforcement officials were initially uh, told that the suspect was identified as a Ryan Lanza. Uh, there's now some information that it is, that is in fact his brother Adam Lanza. So law enforcement officials say they're trying to get definitive clarity on that. Uh, as soon as we know that it's definitively uh, one brother the, the, uh, the other will get that information out. Uh, again, the information is that the shooter is dead at the scene as we re reported all afternoon. Uh, the suspect's mother, we do know that. Uh, who was an employee at the school, uh, was also among those killed along with those children. And the law enforcement officials now are now trying to sort through the person's background, trying to get some sense of what the motive may have been for this tragic shooting. So the question at this hour is which of these two names has been attached to the suspect by authorities? Uh, there's some uh, in question of whether it's Adam Lanza or uh, Ryan Lanza. They're both brothers. Um, and as they sort through that, Pierre, the relationship with the, with the woman targeted the teacher targeted in the school would be the same regardless of uh, which uh, name is actually uh, finally settled upon by authorities. If this was that, uh, their that mother, is correct. correct. That is correct. And, and as one uh, source said, look, you have a dead suspect at the scene. Uh, again, the initial information provided by the local authorities, uh, the federal uh, officials have been working off that information, but they are now becoming increasingly uh, certain that it's probably going to Adam Lanza, but again, we'll know more uh, shortly.